In this video, we're looking at what's known as a geometric series. We've previously looked at what's known as a geometric sequence, and a geometric sequence is one which goes up by a multiplier. So say, for instance, the sequence uh, 3, 9, 27, 81, and so on and so on. This sequence that I've built is going up by times 3 each time. So 3, no, three 9s are 27, 3 27s are 81. So that's what's known as a geometric sequence. What we're now going to look at is what's known as a geometric series. And a series is when the terms of the geometric sequence are added together. So basically what we're going to look at is something like, what's the sum of 3 plus 9 plus 27 plus 81 plus and so on and so on and so on. So that's what we're going to take a look at. And we're going to have a look at an example now in a second. The formula here, Sn is equal to a times 1 minus r to the power of n all over 1 minus r will help us find the sum of all of the terms. So S here stands for the sum of all the terms. The A stands for the first term. That's my first term in my sequence. So that would be my tree, for instance. My OR then is my common ratio, my common multiplier basically. And that's found by taking any term and dividing it by the term in front of it. So second term divided by the first term or third term divided by the second term and so on. So say for instance, I was to take term four and divide it by term three. In this uh, geometric series, it would be 81 divided by 27, which would give me a common multiplier or a common ratio of three. And that would be my OR. So let's take a look at an example here in a little bit more detail. So let's find the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence 2 plus 6 plus 18 plus 84 and so on and so on and so on. So the first thing here um, we can see is that it is a geometric uh, series because if we take any term, so I'm going to call it Tn plus 1, divided by the term in front of it, say Tn. So for instance, I'm going to take term 3, which is 18. And I'm going to divide it by the term in front of it, Tn, so that's term 2, and in this case, it's 6. So my common ratio in this question here is going to be 3. So my uh, or, my common ratio, is equal to 3 in this question. We now need to find the value of A, the first term. Well, A is going to be 2, that's the first term in my sequence here. And that's as much information as I need. The number of 10, or actually the number of terms in the sequence is 10, so I'm also going to write that down. N is standing for the number of terms, which is 10. So my formula for the sum of all the terms is given as Sn is equal to A times 1 minus R to the power of N all over 1 minus R. Filling in my formula now, it's given me the sum of the first 10 terms is equal to A, which is 2 times 1 minus or, or being my ratio of 3, to the power of n, which is 10 in this case. And I'm dividing that all by 1 minus or, which is 1 minus 3. I'm going to work all this out now. So I'm getting the sum of the first 10 terms is equal to 2 times 1 minus 3 to the power of 10. And 3 to the power of 10 is quite a large number here. It's giving me a value of um, 59,049. And that's all over 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. So multiplying out the top line, 2 times uh, 1 minus 5, 59,049 is going to give me negative 118,096. I'm dividing that then by negative 2. So dividing um, my negative 118,096 by minus 2 is giving me a final value for the sum of the first 10 terms of 59,148. So that's the first uh, 10 terms of that sequence added together. So that's an example of finding the sum of a geometric series.